the founders said in the Declaration of Independence that government was created to protect citizens' rights. And if you elect me as your governor, I promise you, I will fight for a more efficient, less intrusive government every single day. Someone. Someone once said a government large enough to give you everything is big enough to take everything from you. It's true. And it's true. We can't have freedom and liberty with a big bloated government ruling over us. The two cannot coexist. I've been married to my wife Barb for 41 years this year. We have two sons and seven grandchildren. Now she deserves all the credit for that. I don't know how she did it for 41 years, but God bless her. I was a small business owner for over 20 years, starting in 1988 in the Olympia area after I got out of the military. I know the struggles of running a small business and raising a family. I started out in business with a 1976 Dotson pickup truck that I bought from my grandpa for $600 on payments. I started my business doing concrete foundations around Olympia and I had to make multiple trips in that little small truck to get the concrete forms from one job to another. And I only had one employee at the time. But I was free. I was working for myself and I was experiencing the American dream. And I built that business up from nothing to having multiple trucks and multiple employees doing jobs all around Puget Sound. My youngest son still runs that business to this day. Now government didn't help us do that. Government hinders us with taxes and regulations and it's gotten a lot worse since then. Ask any small business owner in this state and they will tell you that taxes and regulations make it very hard on them and many struggle to keep the doors open. Now I'm not anti-government at all. I am anti-big government. When was the last time that you heard of taxes and regulations being lowered in Washington state? Not in my life. Never. Taxes keep getting higher and regulations more restrictive. They just keep piling on. Our state government acts like we work for them instead of the other way around. And that will change when I'm elected. Less taxes and less regulations lead to more individual freedom. And that's something that all Washingtonians should embrace. So let's talk about the homeless crisis for a second. I could say so much about this because I've been involved in it on the ground level. First of all, I don't agree with the term homeless crisis. I believe there's a major problem with mental health and drug addiction. And here's where common sense comes into play. If you reward bad behavior, what are you going to get? More bad behavior. More bad behavior. And that's what's going on right now under the nose of Jay Inslee and Bob Ferguson. Seattle and other places around Puget Sound have stopped arresting and charging people with three grams or less of heroin. Now that's a felony in this state, and that's about a week to two weeks supply of heroin. They're ignoring it. They would rather ban plastic straws and sue the Trump administration than deal with felonies right underneath their noses. What do you think would attract more heroin users to an area more than not having any punishment for possessing and using heroin? Any guess? Nothing. And the drug dealers who are pushing this poison adjust to this new policy. They might be drug dealers but they're not stupid. The drug dealers are pushing this poison and adjusting this new policy and only carry three grams or less of heroin on them at a time. They go out and they deal their three grams and they go right back to their stash and get three grams more and continue spreading that poison. They don't get touched by the police. 
That's what's going on in this homeless crisis. You reward bad behavior and you get more of it. But not only that, we as taxpayers pay our taxes to the government, we work hard, and our government turns around and rewards these people that are doing these bad things and dealing these drugs and using these drugs with food stamps, EBT cards. Why don't we have random drug testing for people on public assistance like we do in the workplace where most of us work? Does it, isn't that common sense? Why do we work hard, pay our taxes, and then have the government just hand it out with no questions asked? That's absolutely ridiculous. 